We're going around the world to explore beach lifestyles the way the locals know it. Hey, guys. First up, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Find out where this thriving crowd of local artists, bikini-clad expats, and legendary surfers go when they want to kick back. Everybody's smiling, everybody says hi to you. And explore a fine dining hideaway. Wow. Then it's off to the ultimate old county pleasure zone, Alabama's Gulf Coast, where shrimping is a way of life. Is there a G on the end? Is it shrimping or is it shrimping? From zipline courses to Alabama steaks, here, work and play happens right on the beach. This is the pulse, and these are the people of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and Gulf Shores, Alabama. The entire Pacific coast of Mexico sparkles with glitzy resorts and party-seeking vacationers. But beneath the flashy exterior and high-priced tourist traps, there's a laid-back Mexican lifestyle that harkens back to a simpler time. A time when things moved at a slower pace. Food tasted fresher, and people were more genuine. For a taste of that authentic charm and relaxed sensibility, head down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. The tropical retreat is tucked away in Banderas Bay, just a three-hour plane ride south from Los Angeles. But for many expats, this secluded slice of paradise is more than just a getaway. It's home. I'm originally from Canada, but I've been coming back and forth to Puerto Vallarta for the last two and a half years now. Now I am bartender by day and artist by night. Local artisans, traveling musicians, expats that came and never left. These are the people that make up the heart and soul of Puerto Vallarta. Follow the twists and turns of Mexico's Federal Highway 200, and you'll find yourself in the town of Sayulita. Here, life moves about as fast as the surf. Every time you try and leave, something brings you right back where you started. I'm originally from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. We came down to Sayulita because we're surfers. Tropical lifestyle, the kids can run free, an incredible diversity of, of people. This is no bustling urban metropolis, and the closest you'll get to cutting edge is the edge of a surfboard. Well, Sayulita really is another world. I mean, it's disconnected. There's a certain, I call it like bohemian charm, that you have to get it. You have to like appreciate the, the fact that this place isn't perfect, but for the people that live here, it is. Local girls Paulina, Marta, and Carla love the lifestyle. I like surfing because every time I get mad or sad, I just go to surf and it's like freedom. Ahí está Diego. Diego? Sí. Diego! Today, the ladies are joined by four-time Mexican national surfing champion, Diego Cadena. Diego is a bad surfer on Sayulita. I like his style. Are you guys ready to go surfing? We know each other for a long time, so it's fun to like be in the water with them and spend some time and really like, get the feeling of surfing for a little bit. Diego always teach me how to surf. When I'm in the water, he always tell me, catch this wave. There's supposed to be a couple of rules, right? One is respect the locals, and second is hot fun in the water. Once the group finishes up their surf session, they're ready to seek out some of the best food the beach has to offer. In Sayulita, there's a tamale lady, and she comes and walks the beach. She makes the best tamales in town. Local spices, cooked for six hours in corn husks and sold for a mere 13 pesos, or one dollar. There's still a lot of face-to-face. -face. You still buy food from somebody who makes it. It doesn't get much better than this. Delicioso. After you get your fill of the beach, head to downtown Puerto Vallarta. There you'll find the city's main boardwalk, known simply as the Malacan. This eclectic scene is the heart and pulse of downtown Puerto Vallarta, attracting artists from all over the world. You have the Papantla Flyers that do their shows, which is a fertility rite that has been going on for 